Michael Versku with THP coming to you from the Bridgestone booth here with Adam. We're going to talk about some fitting. Uh, Adam, tell me how you guys start fitting and what's the most important thing just to get somebody who's never been ball fit before but needs it. Absolutely. Ball fitting is super important and we're glad that ball fitting is coming back. We kind of moved away from the space for a little bit, but now we're moving back into that event ball fitting. So we're very excited about that. So someone coming to us, we're going to ask them what ball they currently play. Sometimes you choose it by just going to the shelf. Maybe you read the back of the product. The way you determine what ball you're going to do is very important. So we're going to have you hit a couple shots with driver, with the ball that you're currently using. We're going to look at the data, look at the conditions. We're going to make sure that ball you know, fits your game or doesn't fit your game. And then we're going to suggest a Bridgestone product. But a little bit different this year, we're going a little bit further down the road. We're getting a little bit more comprehensive. So we're going to move to 8-iron next. And 8-iron, we're looking at the conditions as well. We're making sure that spin is right. We're making sure your distance is optimized. That doesn't necessarily mean we're trying to gain distance with your 8-iron. Uh, we're looking for driver to maybe gain a little bit more distance. But when we move to 8-iron, we're really looking for that optimized distance. If you hit your 8-iron 155, that's what you need to hit it. We need to make sure that spin number is there. That angle of descent into the green is good to where you can stop the ball around the greens. We're not just trying to gain you distance with eight irons. In some typical paces, um, instances, we've actually taken some distance away because someone's underspinning an eight iron approach shot into the green and we want to optimize it where they can hold the green. The third dimension would be going around the green and making sure the ball delivers what they need as far as spin and fill. So when you talk about fitting and getting the right ball, obviously from an engineering standpoint, the number of layers, the materials that get involved. The guys are out there who may be saying, oh, you know, I'm afraid of a three-piece ball, or oh, I'm so good I can only play a, a multi-layer ball. Absolutely. How does that factor in, in, in getting out of some of those preconceived notions and getting into the data really matter for fitting? Right, so as a polymer company, our, our parent company is obviously Bridgestone Tire, and we work with those guys a lot. We work with their innovation technology um, center in Akron. We make sure the polymers are what we need. They test rubber for us. So the three-piece design in the E12 and in the Tour B work very well for us because we're able to manipulate the core much more than other companies should be able to do. And we have a gradational core, which we've been doing for years, and we've, we've um, really made that gradation and core better over the years to where it's firmer on the outside and softer on the inside, softer to take away spin for more forgiveness, and then firmer on the outside to keep that ball speed up. So the E12 has a really awesome new mantle layer, and I'll let Elliot kind of uh, talk about that a little bit more, but the mantle layer allows the ball to be faster, but then also a little bit more forgiving due to some catalyst and surfactants that he'll get a little bit more into. But um, the polymer and the rubber is something that we really focus on and try to make the best golf balls in the industry. Great stuff. Also, you know, how do you, the, all that you've been fitting for years, obviously you mentioned you, you guys were an industry leader and it kind of got away from a little bit. Now you're head back. Uh, assuming you'll get back to that leadership position in that. Tell them about how the data you've been gaining for all of these years factors into fitting today and understanding, hey, is this the right fit for my eight iron? Is this the right spin off my driver? So. The data evolves, just like drivers, just like irons, and balls evolve as well. So what we do is we look at trends over the years. And as you can see, we are the E12. That, ball, that number is actually derived from the 12 years of data that we've had to study for this golf ball. So every year we look at the data and we see the trends. Of course, we know that driver spin has went down in the last couple years. We know that launch angles went up. So the ball has to change to kind of combat what the driver companies are doing and what we're doing in our driver. So we have to build a golf ball that will maintain all those things and make sure that condition is perfect for that user. So we're always looking at the data and that 12 years that we've had the data to look at for R&D and for marketing purposes, we're making sure that the ball falls in line with what the consumer needs exactly. That's a great point. I mean, golf golf clubs have changed over the year because of ball designs. When it got away from wound and and a lot of the the you know the long irons kind of died. Hybrids came up, and it happens the other way as well. Obviously, as golf club designs, the ball changes as well. Mm -hmm. If you had to say for one thing, uh, what's the most important per thing for somebody who's never been fit for golf ball before? They're hearing this, say, you know what? I love my driver. I love my irons. And now it's ready. Am I using the right ball? What was the one thing you would say? Hey, make sure you check on this when you come to Bridgestone to get fit. Okay, I'd say two things. First, dump out all your preconceived notions of the ball you're playing. 
and really look at the numbers. The ball is just a white round thing, sometimes multiple colors, but the conditions and the numbers are what really matters. Look at your, your spin numbers on your driver, look at your launch angle, look at the ball velocity. I mean, we're always looking at ball velocity because the trend in the industry is getting soft, 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 but you have to make the core to where it maintains ball velocity. And you start seeing your smash factor go down, down, down when you get into that soft core technology, you need to make sure you're in the right golf ball. So secondly, when you're looking at, um, when you're going through the ball fitting, you want to make sure that you're optimizing across the board. And in the past, I talked about how we did driver fittings and we took in consideration what you wanted around the greens, but with our new comprehensive fitting, we're looking at everything. So don't just go for the ball that maybe gets you 10 more yards. Maybe there's a ball that gets you seven more yards, but gets you more green side spin and gets you better approach and trajectory and higher apex into the green. So that's what our ball fitting is about moving forward, making sure it fits all facets of the game. Great stuff, Adam, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.